eating better is easier with cool produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Just color your plate with two fruits and three veggies every day. Cool Uzodwala. These five South Africans are ready to show off their cooking skills to impress the judges and win big to become Mzanzi's next cooking star. Fresh produce grown right here in Mzanzi. Hi, we've got you. Eating better starts with cool five a day. Just add two fruits and three veggies to your daily meals. As we said to make eating better easier, color your plate with cool. Congratulations to each and every one of you. You have been selected from all the entries because of the way you colored your plate. Give yourself a round of applause. Lina Laga, Kim Maputo, Valencia, Mukwena. I entered the competition because I just wanted to show my talent. I'm Yuashi Chetty and I love cooking and I can practically cook everything. I am Eva from Rumfontein. I brought everything guns blazing. We're here to win it. My name is Jean Pierre Bailey. I'm here to win this thing and I'm going to try my best to do that. My name is Natasha Bueta. I'm going to stick to my guns. I'm going to stick to the things that I know I'm good at. This is the very first challenge and we're excited to have you on this journey. And this is an opportunity for you to showcase your talent. Today's hero ingredient is one of South Africa's favorite foods. And it also forms part of our five a day. Whether for breakfast, for lunch, dinner, or even just as a snack. We all love it. Not only are they delicious, but they're also packed with protein and fiber, which is great for digestive well-being. Lusanda Muletzani is a farm owner who is part of Ku's program that supports black female and small-scale farmers. Her farm produces some of the small white beans used for Ku baked beans. Tiger Brands introduced their own fund and we started engaging them because we were already in agriculture. So the cocktail of the products that were available, one of them was small white beans. And that's how we got involved uh, with poo beans. I have been in farming for a while, but I've never planted small white beans before. So Tiger Brands assisted us in making sure that we have a mentor who has been working very closely with us to make sure that we treat the product properly and that we don't compromise on the quality of the product. But we are also hands-on. You know, we are there at the farms every day and we make sure that the farmers, they comply to our production guidelines. What I keep on saying to people these days, I always say to them in a few months, when you buy that cool can, you must know that some of those beans have come from our farm. So it, it really does feel great, it's very inspiring also. Cool baked beans have been my staple since my student days. And, and now I use them in my own recipe when I'm making chakalaka. The baked beans are a very important ingredient to it. Let's meet this week's five-a-day superstar. My name is Ruaz Volvo, former Springbok and Sharks player. The way I keep fit now, I try to run twice a week, but also diet is very important. I've got a five-day plan. Cool makes it very easy for me in terms of breakfast in the morning where I can put cool beans, uh, egg and bacon and bit of evo just to get creative and colorful. And also in the evening, cool also makes it easier. So my wife is tired and I take over cooking in the kitchen. Cool makes it very easy for me. Hello, brother. Hi guys, I'm so excited to be part of the judging panel. Now me and baked beans go way back, I'm talking about way back. So I'm looking for new ideas to spice up my cooking. So I hope I came to the right place. So to get your creative juices flowing, we've prepared a dish with baked beans as a euro ingredient. You want it? Oh. The spicy shakshuka is a North African inspired dish consisting of eggs perfectly poached in a spicy tomato and ku baked bean sauce served with handmade flatbreads, full cream yogurt and a refreshing chickpea salad. This is good. I've never thought baked beans can be eaten with yogurt but uh, there's just some creativity that is needed. Your challenge for today is this. 
using baked beans as your hero ingredient, color a plate fit for a professional sportsman like Luazi. Remember guys, your plate needs to be wholesome, balanced, full of color, yet simple enough to recreate easily at home. And creativity, creativity, creativity. You have one hour to color your plate. Now, here's the catch. Behind me is a fully stocked pantry with all the fresh ingredients, beautiful veggies, some herbs, and also all the pantry staples that you can dream of. You'll have one and a half minutes in the pantry. <gasps> You'll go in one at a time to adhere to social distancing. Once your time is up, the pantry will be off limits. But for your convenience, your favorite cool product is available for you right throughout the hour. Are you guys ready? Yes! yes. yes. JP, are you ready for your pantry dash? I am, I am, I am. Your time starts in five, four, three, two, one, go! My love for cooking comes from, well, from the time I got married. I just started and it became something that I love. And because I do it for my family, I do it with love. My love for cooking comes from growing up around a tight-knit family. You know, Sundays was a thing. We go to church, come home from church, and then lunch would be prepared. It was an entire day of just pure love and happiness. And I could see that, you know, the food was the one thing that brought my family together. And I knew then and there that if I can do that for someone else, then why not? Five, four, three, two, one, your time is up. Contestants, you've gathered your ingredients and you've worked your plans for your winning dish using baked beans. Absolutely, are you excited? Yes! yes. yes. Ready, steady, color your plate. More color on your plate means more wholesome benefits. So turn your meals into a balanced plate with cool five a day. Eat better and stand a chance to win 5,000 rand daily. Buy any three cool products, dial star 120 star 1987 hash or WhatsApp cool five a day to 072-741-5357 and follow the prompts to enter. Cool Uzul Get those protein gains with cool baked beans and color your plates. Cool. Ready, steady, color your plate. Today I'm making potato bake, but I like to call it bab tot. I started cooking 2013. I was so bad, horrible, yuck. But then I started learning and learning and learning because when I eat, I want to eat good food. I believe I can do a lot from whatever that's there, I believe. Because there were times, hey, there were tough times. <laughs> there were tough times. Sometimes you find you only have lentils or, or, or and you just make a quick soup. You know what, Vonda, you mix and everything just makes sense. An hour is definitely not enough to cook for a hungry rugby player. I'm used to cooking a storm, so I'll see what I can do. You have 45 minutes left, three quarters of an hour. I'm not loving what I'm smelling in the kitchen. I'm doing baked beans in three ways. I'm adding some other elements to it as well. It is a Mexican inspired dish, but I'm heroing my baked beans. Natasha, what do you want to do So I make a sweet corn and corn fritter. Dan um, wordt hij met de poached egg. En poached egg is voor mij synonymous met Hollandaise. Er komt naar Hollandaise huis. Mm. En dan heb ik mijn um, baked bean puree. Samen met een um, beetje refried beans. En dan heb ik wat ook een Mexican inspired spices. Het, met de vars salsa saus wat ik daarbij maak. En dan heb ik ook zo crispy baked bean corn and chickpea harissa spice element for all So So uh, that is the typical course that we have in the smoke and the sin is, is mal or the, yeah, yeah, or the Mexican uh, Yeah, the Mexican inspired I guess, yeah. I see you now with the proof. Thank you, Ruben. I had a life-changing experience where I lost 50 kilograms and I had to rethink the whole way of cooking. I just literally found replacements in food making it healthy. You can't lose your passion and love for food, but you need to rethink the way that you do it. Right, guys, 
You got 30 minutes left. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I love cooking, I love baking, but I never had an opportunity to go out and show out my talent. I knew exactly the type of the dish which I wanted to cook, but as time was going, my mind keeps on saying something else, and then I found that I already done this part of meal which I didn't want to. But because it's a competition, whether you lose or win, I've done something. Hey, Felicia. Ooh, what are you making there? So I'm going to cook uh, rice and then add a little flavors with my parsley and then curry. And then here is my pill chart. And I'm going to give you a beetroot, a mixed cabbage salad. So I can see how it looks so young. I'm going to use some nuts. The flavors here, I'm to use some nuts. I'm going to use some nuts. Okay, all the best. Thank you. I can work fast, as soon as my family say they're hungry, I'm in the kitchen and food is done. And my husband and my kids are like, wow, mom, it's so fast. <laughs> so I'm making curry baked beans with the mushrooms and peppers with some sausage and cheesy sweet corn mash with a beetroot salad. I feel like my cooking is very diverse. I enjoy putting flavors and dishes together. I can definitely get very creative with almost anything. JP, what are you make today? Uh, so today, I do a pan sear the crust of lake. I'm also going to do a pea puree, and then I'm also going to do a baked bean, cauliflower, tabouleh as well, and I'm going to add some lentils in there. Fresh ingredients such as fresh lemon and fresh um, orange juice to it as well. I'm definitely going to go with the baked beans that has the added herbs in there. I feel like that's going to create some more flavour. Where are you bringing in the star anise? I'm actually going to do a beetroot reduction as well, so I'm going to use the star anise to flavour that. I definitely didn't get everything that I needed for my dish today. Sugar was one of them. So what I did was I used the sweet syrup that the mixed fruit was sitting in as my sugar component to reduce my beetroot. Guys, we've got 10 minutes to go. We've got 10 minutes. Better start thinking about the plating. This time is disappearing. I don't know where it's going, but I'm hoping I'll make it. I don't feel like I'm going to finish in time. Wazi, does that look like enough food to you? Honestly, after a long day of training, this is our starters, eh? I put my beetroot salad. The liquid started leaking all over. I have to redo my dish. This could go one of two ways, and she doesn't have a lot of time. I'm just waiting on the fish to finish up in the, in the oven. So I pan seared it earlier with some garlic um, and some nice uh, ginger. I'm counting down the clock. I don't want to uh, dry the fish out too much. 30 seconds to go, guys. You have to finish up now. Let's go. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Step away from your plate. The best way to color your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Ku Uzotwala. Gentlemen, super exciting. Oh, looking forward to what our potential cooking stars have plated. This is the first of our challenge. South Africans love baked beans for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Basi, and you vegetarian, so I think you must be excited by that. Listen, actually baked beans are my absolute fave, and I'm looking forward to just being given new ideas on what I can do with my baked beans. Okay, guys, are we ready to taste our first dish? Yeah. We sure are. Ready. Hello, Natasha. Hello. 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 That looks amazing. Nice. All in all, I am really happy with how it turned out. Right, so I took the baked beans to the next level today. You'll have a baked bean puree topped with some fried fish. On the other side, there's a refried bean. Then we've got a corn fritter with a poached egg and hollandaise sauce. And then on the other side, for some crispness, we've got oven roasted chickpea, baked bean, and corn. In that one, I used the baked beans with a chakalaka for some extra spice. Nice. Wow. Looks good. Thank you, Natasha. Thank it's a pleasure. You. Enjoy. What I'm hoping is that they saw some techniques in the three different ways I've done the food. Now it's all down to the tasting. The pamkhita mm. is mm. just doing 
the things. Mm. I just love all the flavors that are coming through. You can see she tried to play around the hero ingredient. There's a lot going on, lots of flavor. I think we might probably agree that it maybe didn't need certain elements. Like the egg maybe throws me off a little bit. I disagree somewhat with you, Ruben. For me, I'm just so spoiled for choice. I'm enjoying it. I definitely agree with Ruben. Yes, certain elements in the dish could have just been, maybe just reduced in terms of the portions. Mm. I disagree with the smaller portions. I think <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> being a rugby player where you're hungry, I think that the portion and everything was really perfect. How's it going, guys? How's it going? How's it going? Hey, hey. Welcome to my humble abode. Oh, look at that. Mm. I went with simplicity, um, but I also tried to, you know, create a nice little sexy dish. I went with a pan sear, the crusted bake fillet. I also served it on pea puree. The star of the dish was uh, baked beans. So I did a baked bean cauliflower tabule, and then on the side I did a beetroot reduction. Hope you guys enjoy it. Putting the plate down, presenting it, all that weight that was on my shoulders, it's all gone, and I'm hoping for the best. This dish was hitting every note. I mean, the heat that is coming through, the, the acidity as well coming through. I just love it. I just love the explosion of flavors and such clever use of using the syrup instead of sugar, yeah. which he didn't have in his basket. So I thought that was ace. I think for me, the presentation was, was perfect. So when you go to a restaurant, that's something that you pay for. Well thought out dish without adding too many ingredients. You know, like the tabule, for example, sort of a Middle Eastern salsa. I'm kind of missing maybe a bit more of a heat of lemon, you know, some zestiness basically in the dish. Hello, Eva. Hi. Hello, gorgeous. Hi. Woo, Eva Omonte. Hello, President. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Mambasi. God. I'm so excited. I'm shaking. Eva, what are you like today? Love in a plate. I call it a bab tat without the bab. It's mashed potatoes with a layer of spinach, chagalaga, and I topped with buravors. And on the side, it's my main ingredient the cool baked beans and a coleslaw with a twist. There's color in my plate, tick. It's nutritious, tick. It's balanced, tick. Bona, kiba hile batoba on a silver platter. I think for her, herself, this is not exactly what she wanted to make. She was thinking of like a potato bake with sort of layering. For me, I think there's, there's no flavors that really go together here. There's quite a bit of acidity. I'm not against the coleslaw, I could, I could take that, but then there's also acidity in the sauce with the sausage. So it's almost, it's clashing instead of blending together. She called it love on a plate. I mean, I didn't get much love there. <laughs> <laughs> Is it something you would serve uh, your team, Lazi? Most definitely. And we have another option of mash instead of pop. I think that was creative for her. The color is there, but you're right, Ruben. Eva has one issue going on, which is the balancing of flavors. Hello, Valencia. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. man. Yes. I'm not even happy, to tell the truth. I did a beetroot, added chutney, onions, and green pepper, and then I also cooked cool pilchard fish, and then I added peppers and curry, and then also cool beans with a little touch of mayonnaise. Mm, and then I nice. added lemons just for enhancing the flavor. I just hope that they say I did color my plate, and then they love the flavors. It's definitely Sunday seven colors here. Mm. <laughs> the brief in using the baked beans in a more creative way. Maybe not so much, but you know what I can say is, in terms of the elements that's on there, it's really nice. The coleslaw is, is there. Yes, you can do more with it, but I think in this dish, if it was given to me on any weekday as a meal, I'd be happy with it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it's an honest dish, but it's not really elevated. This took me back to, to my younger days and everything is cooked to perfection. Laza, do you do any cooking? I'd love to take the credit, but fortunately my wife does the cooking at ah, all. Now it figures. That's why when only judge was the contestant. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello, Hi, Namaste. <laughs> This looks amazing, Navas. I could have done more because I liked my first plating, but I just hope and pray that they liked it. Today I've made a cheesy sweet corn mash with a baked bean curry with some peppers and mushroom. On top of that, I have some sausage served with a feta and beetroot salad. 
I hope that they say that my dish is good. It's a home cooked meal. Her mash is it's just hitting some right notes for me. There's a bit of heat definitely coming through. I love hot food. And a uh, big portion. Raza, I'm sure I know you can polish this plate almost chop chop. I think you can feed the whole team with this. <laughs> <laughs> For me, I think what Nivashin should have done is bring some freshness into the dish because it's quite a dense dish. I know she tried with a beetroot salad, but it's just not working for me. I think it's got all the elements to be a good dish, but I don't get curry. There's a nice bite to it. Yeah. Uh, so flavors are there, but I, I just think maybe the beans, you could have done more with it. You and I at least agree on flavor, so you're my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Winning the competition would be in so much to me. I would get more experience. It will mean a lot because it will have shown me that I do have a talent in cooking. It's finally an opportunity for me to make my mother proud, because I'm sure it definitely wasn't easy raising me. <laughs> Winning this competition would mean that I want to start a cooking thing. So it's going to be a great start. Well, just winning the episode already would be a massive accomplishment. Amazing life-changing experience. Congratulations again. You have outdone yourselves. We were spoiled with a cacophony of colors, of flavors. Mm, mm, mm. Monat, give yourselves a round of applause. Natasha, I was a little bit worried about your dish in the beginning. I thought it was too many elements. But i got to say, the flavors really worked, so well done. Thank you, Ruben. Ava, you know, for me, baked beans, they don't cook us up like a hole. You know, really fond, fond childhood memories. I just loved how you did your coleslaw, but there was also just a bit of a clash of flavor somewhat. But other than that, good for you. Thank you, Mambasi. JP, your tabule was missing a zest. But having said that, your presentation and your creativity with your plate, that's something that I can look forward to going to a restaurant and uh, enjoying the meal with my significant one. So, well done on that. Thank you very much, Lazi. Valencia, I mean, that dish, everything was cooked to perfection. However, we felt that your dish was not really elevated. But also, the beans are how they talk a lot. Thank you. Nevashni, your mash honey hit the spot for me. I just thought that the portions were also quite big for me, but I think overall, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Contestants, this was a tough decision for us to make, but ultimately it is a competition and we have to pick only one winner. Under the cloche is the winning dish. And the winner is... JP! <laughs> Congratulations, JP. As the winner of this week's challenge, you walk away with a hamper worth more than 4,000 Rand, including Le Creuset kitchenware, cool products, and a new two bullets. Wow. And you've colored your plate to the finale. <laughs> Very happy, very excited at the same time. I've enjoyed everything from the get-go. Being here and cooking for such well-known celebrities and Ruben Lefou being one of them, you know, she's a very huge inspiration for me. I'm gonna take some of the feedback with me into the next round. I'm definitely gonna make sure that everything is seasoned to my taste and I'm gonna bring my egg in. Hopefully I win the finale too. Next time on Color Your Plates with Ku, meet our next five potential cooking stars hungry for a spot in the grand finale. With one hour to cook, they race against the clock to create their best plates using the hero ingredients of the week. And joining the judging panel is 5FM radio personality and DJ, Miss Cosmo. The best way to color your plate is to enjoy three vegetables daily. Eating better is so much easier with Ku Uzo Another feel-good production.